for five minutes thank you mr speaker and i thank my good friend the gentleman and i use that term literally mr bill iraq as a florida for giving me his time mr speaker tonight i rise in solidarity with a wonderful and determined south florida woman millie munoz millie has dystonia a little known movement disorder that causes a person's muscles to contract and spasm involuntarily the trademarks of this disorder is repetitive pattern and uncontrollable movements it resembles opposing muscles competing for control of a body part there are a dozen forms of dystonia and it's a symptom of many major diseases and conditions dystonia impacts men women children of all backgrounds all ages does not discriminate there is no cure millie was born in miami and had exhibited symptoms of dystonia since childhood each symptom was treated separately she wore a brace on her right leg to help with walking and attended speech therapy classes throughout her school years other symptoms were neglected entirely and millie was told to do the best she could with the pain she went from doctor to doctor and was often told that it was all in her head about six years ago she started exhibiting other symptoms only to be given one misdiagnosis after another millie had pain in her neck her shoulders her wrist her hips and she fell constantly finally in the summer of 2006 she was diagnosed with generalized dystonia a condition where all of the muscles of her body are impacted shortly thereafter millie's life as she knew it came to an end in a short period of time she went from climbing the great pyramid in egypt to being in a wheelchair and bed bound she was constantly in excruciating pain with chronic fatigue and voluntary movements of her arms hands neck mouth face and eyes luckily in 2008 she had deep brain stimulation stimulation surgery which provided some relief but she had yet another battle to fight her abilities to swallow and eat were impacted to the point that she was on her deathbed people thought well through her personal strength through her resolve millie pulled through and she survived today millie has a feeding tube and braces on her legs but she is as resilient and as determined as ever she came to see me here in dc in my congressional office lobbying all of the members of congress to be more knowledgeable about her disease dystonia dystonia is a silent brutal disease the constant tug of war of muscles forces people to live in constant severe pain and exhausted but not millie much of the time the body's struggles are all internal hiding from an outside observer that the struggles with dystonia encompasses each and every movement those with dystonia often say that this that the disorder robs you of the freedom to move it is as terrible as it is debilitating yet the vast majority of people with dystonia have no negative impact on their intelligence or their perceptions these individuals live their lives imprisoned by the uncontrollable actions of their body in conflict in conflict with the will of the mind dystonia is unknown to most americans and at best misunderstood without proper awareness and diagnosis the limited therapies that can help people like millie will never be applied but together we must raise awareness of this dis disorder support the research that can help find a cure to this silent internal storm millie i praise you i congratulate you for your will your determination in the face of this terrible disorder the challenges that dystonia has presented to you are exceeded by the promise and the hope that your survival has demonstrated may your resolve millie be a beacon to the hundreds of thousands of americans who suffer from dystonia i welcomed you to the u.s capitol and i hope that you come back very soon millie you are going to find a cure because you are determined to do so congratulations millie and carry on thank you mr speaker i yield back